The design process for this one's um, quite an interesting one because it's, first of all, it's such a big object. Not having a lot of information about the whales is difficult for a sculptor and for a painter. Uh, well, we're trying to replicate it as best we can. So it was interesting that Nat Geo has made this um, documentary filling in all the, the secret life of the whale, really. The surprising thing about this is that it's a baby. And have a look at a nine metre baby. And you can start to understand how big this is going to be when it grows up. And that was interesting in itself because nobody had very much information until recently about the birthing process, the size of the baby whale. We used automotive clay, modelling clay, and clayed that up. And a sculptor, an industrial designer, studied the bone structures of the whale. They studied photographs of the whale. From there, we had that whale scanned. So we used a, a pretty high technology scanning process. It gives you a very, very accurate uh, model of the whale, millions of points on the whale, so that you have all of the features that we'd put into the sculpt clay model were, were reflected in the computer model. And then using computer driven. Um, carving to make it on a very large scale, so it's, um, it's trying to achieve that accuracy, I guess, using technology to get... The basic structure of the whale is polystyrene blocks. It's, it's actually hollow inside. From then on, it was just a manual um, comparison of the photographs and where the muscles on the whale were. I start on the eye. Uh, that dictates for me where all the other components should sit. Uh, once I did the eyes and then move on to the pleats and then refine some muscle definition and they had some really amazing shots and, and hopefully uh, from the National Geographic videos that, that you'll, people will be more aware of the complexity of what they look like as well. From there we, we fiberglassed over the uh, styrene and hard slog manually sanding it back to get, a, get the surface back to the level we wanted it to. When people see it they'll realise that it's um, something they don't know very much about and it might inspire them to find out more and realise it's a very important thing to protect the species given that it's an endangered one right now. Okay, it's ready to go.